Alrighty, so I reconfigured the table. I have the car, uh, the carburetor in between these two soft pieces of wood. This table kind of collapses inward and forms like a little vise, so it can snugly hold the carburetor. Uh, the flat surface is uh, going to the uh, motor and to the front. Be very careful that you're not mashing or pushing up on anything. If you, you're putting it in like a, a vise, uh, you need to place two pieces of soft wood in the front to protect the carburetor. Some people usually take a punch to the middle here and try to remove the, the expansion plug. I like to sometimes use uh, a little little bitty screw just like this, kind of sharp, okay? And I gently tap in just like this, and I think it's kind of break, uh, kind of break through, okay? And then I will gently uh, screw this in where it kind of grips onto it. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is, uh, by, uh, I'm trying to latch onto it so I can take a pair of pliers. Again, everybody does it a little bit differently. The important thing is, is to remember not to go down too far where you can damage the bottom of that little bowl. Okay, so I've taken that out. As you can see, and, uh, I've thread a little bit into it. It pulls out the little expansion plug. So I'm going to loosen this up here, holding the carburetor. Okay. I don't know if you can see it down at the bottom. There are three little holes down at the bottom. Okay. Those little holes uh, uh, help with the fuel and make sure. There's a little bit of dirt down there, but it's basically clean. So we probably would have been okay not uh, changing uh, the expansion plug out. And so for a lot of times, no, it's not necessary. But if you bought a kit and the car was really dirty, or maybe you had trouble running it and uh, it had it was uh, had really crummy um, <clears throat> crummy idling, and um, and you have good compression, you have good spark, then chances are it's a, it's a fuel issue. And if it's uh, not idling low well, and you know you've adjusted everything, then this may be have a little junk in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean up our carburetor. And so I'm going to uh, bring you over here. You can let uh, some of this sit, uh, and uh, you can use like uh, some carb dip, like Berryman uh, Kemp dip. It has a little basket. You can put some of your stuff in it. Uh, I like to um, use a, a, a carb spray. And I'll tell you what, the important thing right now <clears throat> that you can use is a pair of protective goggles and some gloves. Because some of that stuff is pretty caustic, and you know, um, and you know, uh, we don't think about it, but uh, a lot of this stuff affects our our lungs and our skin and eyes. So it's important to have that. Again, I've taken all the little, uh, I've taken all the uh, the um, the plastic parts off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on. I'm going to spray in here. And the little car bowl, okay, just like this. And spray in here, and these little pathways were here and inside here, okay, and uh, in through here, okay. And if you notice, when I spray in here, you'll see some junk come out down at the bottom here and inside the carburetor. And spray inside here, okay. Spray it here. See this little hole right up in here? All the little orifices and crannies and stuff, you can spray stuff in there, you do it. And also in the, uh, in, the, in the little bowl, I mean in the needle seat right here, you want to get all that stuff clean. You see where it comes out right here, the connection? See, a little bit of junk in there. And you just spray in there. Okay. And what I forgot to do, in just a second, I realized, I'm going to be right back. Right here in the slow speed uh, needle uh, inside there, I forgot to pull out the the uh, the um, packing. See, there's one of them. I don't know what uh, that is. Uh, what uh, and then uh, this right here. You see how it's flattened. Sometimes they're a real booger to get out, and you have to be very careful uh, that you don't get stuff distally down in there, junk and stuff. So. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, spray that really well. 
this, like this. So I know it comes out. All right. So most of this evaporates, but what I'm going to do is I have this uh, air gun here. Most of the stuff evaporates, but I'm just going to blow all the out. By doing so, I'm making sure I'm getting rid of all the junk. Okay, and I'm just going to put that off to the side. And I'm going to be grabbing the, uh, the second half of the car. Now, for time purposes, I went ahead and pl uh, placed the, the little, uh, little uh, high-speed uh, uh, nozzle back in just for a little bit. Uh, because all I want to do is uh, spray it out a bit, okay? So I'm going to be spraying different areas. You see right here? This goes out to here. Make sure it's, this is clear. Stick the little straw in there. Make sure all that's clean. Right up in here. Because this is where, inside here is where the high speed. Spray that out. And this little hole right here, because this is a communication. Make sure all that's clear. Okay. Alrighty. Now you don't have to, but uh, it helps. You let that stuff drain. And just blow everything up. You can even use a, a, a can of uh, a, a, a can of air that you get from the Walmart or whatever to um, <clears throat> where you clean keyboards and stuff if you don't have an air compressor. Alrighty. So just for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause it and I'm going to get all the stuff to put the carburetor back together.